what you talking about now, saying? I don't know, but you're going to get some nuggets out of it, though. But first, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn that bell on. There's a new video series dropping every Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with a random jam session whenever I'm in my bag. You do not want to miss out. Also, be sure to check out my books, man. The link's in the description below right along with my vegan class if you're trying to go plant-based and stay plant-based. I'm telling you, it works. Oh, and lastly, be sure to follow me on Instagram at underscore just underscore scene underscore. The nuggets I don't put over here, I put over there so you can all always get me when you need me but you ain't really coming for all of that peace love knowledge and freedom i am and if there's no if there's no foundation if there's no emotional control and if there's no personal identity you're gonna fucking feel like you're losing your mind you feel me because you're literally passing back and forth at will because this portal is open your fifth dimension it sits above that that's where your higher self is at you feel me that's where your higher self is at where you have your um your uh your uh, intuition, you have it, which is your, that's why this, that's why this is number four because it sits in the middle. You have your throat, which is your communication, your um, brow, which is your, um, your uh, intuition, and then you have your crown, which is your, de your deification, your divinity. You feel what I'm saying? Turn a six upside down, it's a nine. You feel what I'm saying? Six is the mark of the beast because six is when you spiral downwards, which is the part below your, your heart chakra area, the fourth dimension, which is third. The fifth dimension is above that. That's why it's a nine. It's divine. You feel what I'm saying? But you need both of these points. But when you die and come back, that shit's open. And the younger you are, that's where it's like it gets it gets it gets tricky because the younger you were, the younger you were when it happens, the more you are open, but then the more you observe life just as it is. You didn't have to feel like yo, I just really made a transformation. You feel what I mean? So those fears and those things like that, you've already seen the other side. You have no need to worry. And you know you have no need to worry. But there's a part of you that still feels like it has to worry because of all of the conditioning, all of the shit that has been, been imposed upon you. Anybody who has not died yet, they cannot understand that shit. I'm not telling you to go do no dumb shit where you experience this shit. That's not what the fuck I'm saying. Like It doesn't happen to everybody. Some people do come back, but those that have come back and you're wondering why, shit feels weird for you and you went through a life altering ex experience and you know you were able to come back and you know the shit is different you look at life differently and this doesn't just have to be you die like from car like whatever that case may be you can have a death from an emotional trauma so severe that it breaks you down to your absolute core and then you come up look at everybody oh you different you look like that you no longer have to wear your mask you know you don't give a fuck about none of that shit anymore you know, but that comes with understanding that that ability to let go. You know, once this shit opens, once your crown chakra, I mean your um, heart chakra center, once that is unblocked and open, that's your passage between your higher and your lower self. Ironically, that comes from that sh that heart sh that um, chakra system is blocked by grief. The inability to grieve, the inability like. This is why our people in their times were so evolved. And why when people die, they didn't grieve, they rejoiced. Not because you're dead, but because you lived. You feel me? But when you understand that grief, when you take grief and you mourn, it sends you back down to your root again. Once the fear tactic hits, that's why you have the fear traumas that occur. They, invoke certain traumas the fear based to send you back down because they know you're going to grieve for it you're going to then question yo am i built for this shit personal identity gone you know you're going to start to doubt yourself all of the feelings that and all the emotions are going to be negative send you back down now you fear let me just go back to basic survival and just living you feel me basic survival and living so i felt like you know this was a necessary series like, I, I, fear is a motherfucker, yo. Fear is a motherfucker. And the moment you can conquer it, it's not easy. I'm not even gonna lie to you and say it is. But the moment you can conquer it, the moment you can master it, you'll never die. You have no fear of that. Like, that can't be used against you. That can't be used against you. But it will be used as a tactic to silence anything around you that could potentially learn from you, that could potentially grow from you. 
you know. So I think it's just random. But if if you're on this path of liberation, if you're on this path of enlightenment, if you're on this path of healing, teach those around you how to be fearless. Teach those around you what it means to be released from fear. That way, if they hit the shepherd, there's still several shepherds around. The sheep won't scatter.